Bro, he's literally farming in this dungeon. <laughs> like farming wolves. What is going on, you beautiful human being? Welcome back to my channel. Today, we're reacting to solo leveling episode four called I Must Get Stronger. If you like solo leveling, smash that like button. Follow my channel if you yeah! want to subscribe and hit that notification bell so that you stay up to date. Let's jump straight into this. Damn, so here we were, right? He was fighting this... What was it? The steel toothed lichen. Oh, he jumps out the way. I thought he was going to like grab the jaw and rip it like that. Because he's at 31 strength right now. My body feels so light. <laughs> Boom. Let's go. Let's go, Jin. I'm not dying. Oh my gosh. Dude. Damn, did it make that much of a difference? <laughs> oh, let's go, Jinwu. My attacks aren't working. Wow, it bit that whole the door. Crazy. What is he gonna do? Like, I think if he just hits it with a barrage of strikes, it'll put it down. But also, the interesting thing is that's gonna be is that now when he goes back if he gets back and he adds to his stats he'll be able to know what he should add to if i had a weapon with magical power oh he can just call it up of course damn there's no ways he's got a sword damn oh he sliced the head in half i don't know how this got in there he paid 3 million for it. Oh my gosh, how is that possible? Wait, it's still alive? Oh, there's more. Now that I have a weapon, I'm not afraid. What is going on here? Oh, it was just stuck in the ground. Oh, it caught it. Oh, the steel fanged, of course. Oh, the roundhouse to the room. Oh my gosh. Bro. Dude, the head right in half. Compared to what I ran into before, these guys aren't so bad. Imagine it just runs away. <laughs> Damn, it is. Look, I said it before. It is just like in a game, you know? Some of these games, like, the last enemy will just be petrified and run away. I'm level 2 now. Damn. Oh, his strength was 32. Wow. Because I swear it was 31 in the last episode. Even though I did say 28. But... Intelligence and perception. I really can get stronger. But that, he obviously needs to still fight the boss of this. Oh, yes, the essence stones. <laughs> he got items instead. This is so interesting. There's a store. Oh my gosh, you can buy and sell things. Wow, 20 gold for selling the claw. If I stay too long, I'll run out of food. But I wonder if you can buy food from the store. Oh my gosh. There's no way. He has to run. There's like 20 of them. I already know what dying is like. What? Crazy. Dude, he's rushing into like 20 of them. <laughs> this dude's insane. Wow. I'm not gonna go down easy. 
They might just all run away if the boss comes there. If you know what I mean. But now I understand the name of the show. Like, I didn't, like, click before. But it's solo leveling because he's leveling himself up while being on his own. While doing it solo. Whereas most people need to be in a team with a healer and all these other different people. Which is going to be interesting to see how it ties up. Dude, he's just leveling up. What? Wolf Assassin. <laughs> oh my gosh, he's even got a title. Dude. But the thing is, he's got the title, but where would it show in real life, like, to the other people? Like, are they able to see it? Damn, and the weapons even get destroyed. All abilities plus 40%. 34 wolf fangs. Wow, and the teleportation stone. Just go fight the boss, man. Bro, he's literally farming in this dungeon. <laughs> like farming wolves. I'm dancing atop the Buddha's palm. Wow. I wonder, here's another thing, like if he does actually die, I wonder if he can just respawn. Oh, there was a dungeon break, meaning that the monsters got through. I wonder why she... Oh my gosh, Razed Claw. So he's just fighting new monsters as he's moving along. But the, what I was saying is, I wonder why she acted like it so weirdly. Oh, so it's got the strength with it by the color. Red means they're strong. Oh, because as he gets stronger, they get weaker. Let's go. Gives me goosebumps. Level 15 already. But can't he buy another sword from the store? You know what I mean? And how did he even get this one to begin with? But it's going to be interesting to see what he actually fights down here. There it comes. Damn. So fast. Oh no. Oh my gosh. Oh man. A snake. Blue Venom Fan Cobra. Oh, damn. Dude, I would be terrified. I'd actually be terrified. Oh, he got hit. But I'm guessing everything has its weakness. But I mean, good luck finding the weakness while in the middle of fighting it. Oh my word, a train. Now he's like becoming addicted to just getting as strong as he possibly can. What is that scream? The weakest hunt of all mankind. Oh my gosh. Oh, Song. He lost his arm. Well, this is before he lost his arm. Mr. Song. Man, Jin was about to go off. <laughs> if you're strong. Kindness won't save me, so I'll become strong. Damn. 
What is this? Oh my gosh. What is this? His eyes went blue. <laughs> Let's go, Chen Wu. Damn. This will be easy. Oh my gosh. He's going off. Oh man. Did he go inside? Oh. Bro, these hands. I know. <laughs> I can kill you. Dude, what did you do? You just crush its throat. Oh my gosh. Notification. Bro, did you just bear hug its throat? Level up, level up. Oh my word, he's gonna be like 10 times stronger. <laughs> you have defeated King of the Swamp. Oh, Blue Venom Kasaka. Oh, and he got a. Looks like a spear. Oh, a dagger. Paralysis and drains HP. Wow. The venom. The boss has been defeated. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Dude. And you'll obviously be completely healed at the same time. Oh right, he didn't hear the broadcast at the... There was a dungeon break. Let me show you to the battle. Dude, he's gonna be so strong when he gets there. Wow, it's all out war. There's one big one left. Oh. Dude, this is gonna be I want I want him to fight this boss in front of everyone. Dude, he's gonna get famous as well. Oh my gosh. If they like capture like pictures and stuff of him, video footage. Oh man, this is gonna be so hype. Imagine he just one taps it, he gets there and he just one taps it. With his new dagger. Oh my gosh, that'll be so crazy. A hastily assembled team. And oh, so they can't work together. And they're low ranks. I wonder what his rank is right now. Oh, it's Joey. She's still frozen. She just doesn't seem like she's cut out to be a healer. She's still shaken up. This is a D rank boss. Wow! <laughs> I'm so amped for this. Wow, that's crazy. Bro! Ah, uh, so he's just gonna support them and not do it himself. You must go and pick it up. Oh my gosh, he just disappeared. <laughs> Bro, look at his forearm, how like... <laughs> Damn, look at how ripped his forearm is already. Oh, did she see him do it? Wow. <laughs> Absolutely crazy. Man, 
And you know, like, some of my friends and stuff had been talking about it. And, you know, because it's only like eight episodes in at this point. And they, like, really were talking about it. And I was thinking, like, okay, I've seen the first three episodes and there's definitely a lot of potential. But just after seeing this episode number four, it's amazing. <laughs> to be able to reach this level in four episodes is insane. I mean, there's so much potential in it. All the other people that we've met who we yet to go back to and just, you know, where his journey is going to take him and how he's actually going to be viewed by everybody else. You know, is he going to be accepted or not? And it was like I was saying, solo leveling, right? So it's basically him on his own and that kind of was reflected here in this at the end of this episode where you know he just launches that blade breaks the thing's defenses and then he's like okay that's all i needed to do and leaves you know because he is still on his own what he was able to do by you know beating that i think it was the blue venom kasaga and then right before that beating like 30 steel fanged lichens you know, as he's leveling up and even just figuring out the inventory and I'm still wondering how he even got that sword or why it was available to him. And that's also the cool thing is that there's all this that we still need to figure out and find out. And also the biggest thing is the consequence, right? The consequence of him being able to do this it's going to come back around because, you know, you get nothing for free, right? And seeing like how it is linked to that god that he fought before or not even fought just interacted with because at the end of the day to me that would be like his big fight would be to fight that thing because remember it just disappeared it's still there you know that's definitely for the future but for right now seeing him level up and even the biggest thing about Chenwu is that he's very smart to begin with it's not like someone who has to like figure things out and he's like he's dumb like right from the get-go we see how he's able to immediately see things you know he sees these notifications and he goes okay strength oh it's like a video game okay cool let me put my stats into here my stats into there it also just like he's one of his biggest traits to me is that he's able to to do things under like heavy pressure you know even when he fought that um the poisonous blue venom kasaga in that place in time he's able to figure it out and then just absolutely amazing how he just used his arms and just crushed its throat like that and then he you know he beats the dungeon but wow absolutely amazing episode i'm so keen to keep watching the show and now it i mean now i actually see what the hype is about and i'm here for it <laughs> but anyways that's going to be it for me if you like solo leveling, smash that like button. Follow my channel if you want to subscribe. Hit that notification bell so that you stay up to date because I'm releasing every single day of the week. I'm going to leave the last episode right up over here. Thanks for watching. If you're watching, I'm out. Peace. In a bit.